Peace, beloved. Make sure my my uh oh it's off. It looked like it's off at least. Y'all let me know if y'all can hear me as y'all chiming in, please. Greetings. Peace, peace. Hi. Hey outlaw. Peace, boo. More I win and I I'll probably jacked your name all up, babe. Ricky Deke. Who else we got? Somebody else say, hey, it's your it's your girl. <laughs> Peace Queen. Everybody can hear me. You can hear me good. I say you was off social media because I said, ah, <laughs> uh-uh. That means you was on here. Look. We are twin, and I thought about you after I cut my hair, uh, Queen. I had to let it go. I had to let it go. It was holding too much energy. I was holding too much energy. I was like, let me let this go. Peace, 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 peace. Greetings. Hey, boo, hey. Miss Sheik, hey. Kristen, I got to come rub on your tummy. <laughs> All right. Um, so I wanted to jump on here. Y'all know I'm doing um, full moon readings. I am full for tonight. I don't, I'm not taking no more um, moon readings for tonight. But I definitely wanted to jump on here because when I get um, some information, I love sharing that information. All right. So, listen. Listen. Peace, Chef. Natural girl. Um, I have been in contact with um, this, this amazing sister. And, um... We getting ready to put something together now. Y'all know I said this last workshop was my last workshop for the year. And it is. <laughs> Let's be clear. But I am going to host this next workshop. Because my babies who know me and have been in my class. Y'all know what are the two charts that I tell y'all to pull. Your natal chart and your human design chart. Okay. Your natal chart and your human design chart. When I tell you this sister is so freaking thorough with the human design chart, if you have not pulled your human design chart, you sleeping. You gonna be sleeping. And I don't want you to miss out on this information. I'm trying to figure out how we can do it because I wanna make sure she get paid. She all the way here from Chicago, all right? She all the way here from Chicago, so I might do it by donation or something. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do it because I want to make sure we give her a love offering for gifting us this information. But that human design chart, Ricky Deke, I'm going to need you to go ASAP, ASAP Rocky. I'm going to need you to go and pull your human design chart. Listen, Linda. Listen. When I tell you... I know when my babies, they know I'm giving y'all what I can give y'all from, from the information that I've collected from human design. When I tell you she got layers on top of layers, like she done came in my home and broke down my whole household, told us what environment, what like what rooms, what energies we like, it's so crazy. So I'm super excited. I was like up until almost one something last night looking, okay looking up information that she shared with me because now not only have she given me my own human design chart she's pulled all my family and anybody who know me right now they know i got a big ass family she done pulled my whole family chart how we interact with each other okay how we interact so how my energy when when my mate energy connects with mine what gateways we are opening for each other what are we activating in each other? And then what are we activating as a family unit? How his interaction is with my children, how my interaction is with his children, the whole connection, what, what, what um, direction we should be going, what energy we should be focusing in. Like, yo, when I tell y'all how deep this rabbit hole go, and y'all know because I am 
connecting to the astrology more than I am with human design. When she's showing me stuff, now I can go back and connect y'all on the human design, on the natal chart aspect. Now we got more information to work with for me to help you navigate this journey on some old other next level. So 2021, listen. If you not vibrating and elevating and levitating and doing all the shit that I love talking about doing by 2021, you playing. That's all I'm going to say. If you ain't doing and operating in the energy and the frequency that you're supposed to be operating on by 2021, you playing. I'm going to have her to jump in on one of the classes. Yes, Ashley. I'm going to um, bring her in on um, the last class, on our fourth class. But she's just going to be able to touch because the information that she got, it goes so deep. We need to we need to break it down into dynamics. I need for y'all to understand this on so many levels. And it ain't too many of my melanated ones that y'all already know. This is why we be behind. It ain't too many of us that's messing with this, this information. And when I tell you, when I give you this key, your whole mindset going to shift. Your whole mindset is going to shift. Listen, beloveds. I'm, it's, it's some old next level. I promise y'all. Like, I just got like a whole, like... I, I'm I'm ready to adopt her. Look, I'm ready to adopt her. That's how serious it is. I'm sitting there like, I, we didn't want her to leave. I didn't want her to leave yesterday. She was at my house. I didn't even want her to leave. She going to be at my house like literally. I'm hiring her to come to my house for like a week. Just so she can help me put what I need to put together for each one of my babies. So I can make sure I'm setting them up for success. All right. So, we'll have the workshops, but I will make sure that y'all are able to book, like, your own independent session because you might need to go deeper than what the class is going. In the class, I just want to make sure that y'all getting this information and looking at other things and tapping into some other dynamics that we haven't tapped in. So, if you're definitely interested, make sure y'all DM me because I'm probably going to do a private invite for this first group of people with the people that I already know that y'all already own it. Like, I might just make it where it's exclusive to the people that I'm like, y'all need to be on, like, already on this. Because I really want you to be able to go and look at your natal chart and use this information that I'm giving you um, to a whole nother level. Like, it's so serious is that I'm getting ready to use this in combination with the information I already know from my healing chamber clients. That's how deep this information is. So, listen, get on it, Ricky. I'm going to need you to get on it. I'm going to need you to go and pull all your charts ASAP so you don't miss out. Okay? You can't. I don't want you to miss out. Jim and I was talking about the human design charts. I, I'm going to um, have the sister that I met do a workshop. I'm not hosting it. I'm hosting it, So, but I'm hosting it for my people. But when I tell you it's this young sister that when she when I she's so thorough, it's ridiculous. Like it's so crazy that it made me have like aha revelation moments a hundred times. Like to the point where I was like, damn, now I understand why that's like this or why this is like this. Or why when I come around. Like literally. How you're like me and my mate. Like how when we connect. We like Voltron. <laughs> when we connect. All of these gateways open up. So when there was a reason. You know how you have an attraction to somebody. And we just base it off of some basic stuff. My attraction to him is because. Not only did he fulfill the things that I was missing in my own gates, I was opening up and activating his throat, his third eye, and his crown chakra. 
This is how deep this shit is. Listen. Listen. So it creates these dynamics, which goes even further when we talk about y'all got to be careful about who you interact with. You got to be careful about who you got in your circle, how you moving, the people you hanging with. Y'all be like, oh, it's all good. No, it's not. Because you might be hanging around somebody who just draining the shit out of you. You might be hanging around somebody who just draining the shit out of you. And they ain't even supposed to be around you. You wondering why you walking around tired or why you always ready to fight. Because you around some energy that ain't in, in alignment. There's a reason. It could be who that person is. And when I tell you like these damn human design charts, break this shit down to a science. Okay, so then I'm going to tell you this last piece of jewel. I'm going to tell you this one little piece. So then she put me on yesterday to us having two birthdays. Okay? Y'all with me? Y'all following with me? We got two birthdays. All right, we got the conscious mind birthday. That's how we're going to break it down. We got the conscious self. We got that birthday. And then we got the physical birthday. So people normally hear that and they say, well, the physical birthday must be in your actual when you entered the world. No. Your body's design and how we move from a physical perspective is connected to a whole, like it was already here before our consciousness entered the realm. Yes, I did. Okay. So your body's design has a whole nother sign. Do y'all know how deep that shit is? This giving you a whole nother level of multiple personalities. So if my consciousness is entering in the world, we're going to use me as the example. My consciousness entered the world as a Leo on August 11th. That's when my consciousness decided that it wanted to enter through this vessel. All right. So that made me a Leo sun with a Libra rising. My actual body's birthday, when my body was ready and decided this is the design that it was going to choose. Is a Taurus. It entered May 11th. Okay. So that's Taurus energy. Let's check this out. My mama is a Taurus. So I always try to figure out. How the hell. This one right here. Was doing. What I was capable of doing. Business wise. Money wise. How was I doing and moving the way I was moving? And I'm a projector. Because projectors are somewhat known to be, I don't want to say y'all, we lazy. But they're known to be always tired. They're known to be a certain energy. Okay? We were known to be a certain energy. I was sitting here going to school, raising kids, running businesses. I was operating like a generator. Probably because if I pull my parents' charts, they probably generators. I ain't going to lie. So I was operating with the mindset, secure the bag. I got to work. I got to go. So when we pulled my actual body's birthday, it made me a Taurus sun with a Virgo rising. This is why this is funny as hell to me. Because I always pick at Virgos about being too detail-oriented or being perfectionist. That brings in why I am a perfectionist in a lot of things that I do. So now you're combining these energies with my actual other energy. And now you're coming up with this personality. Now I start pulling the chart because now I go back to my natal astrology information and say, oh, wait a minute. If my body got a different birthday, 
then I need to pull the natal chart to my body's birthday. So I'm pulling the natal chart and look at what we have here. <laughs> All of this beautiful information that actually resonate more with me than my actual conscious birthday. So for those of y'all that I probably lost y'all in there and that's why you need to take the class. <laughs> we gotta look at it from this way. My mind is operating like a Leo. My mind moves and make choices and decisions based off of this Leo Libra energy, okay? Leo, and, and then you gotta think, if we even take it a step deeper for my, my natal chart babies, where your moon placement is. I got a Pisces moon. I know, Ashley, I put that in y'all info. <laughs> I put that in y'all uh, second class, y'all second email. Um, but our bodies are moving a certain way. Okay, so my body is moving like a Virgo or like a, a Taurus Virgo. My body moving on some earth shit. Like my body moving like nine tides. Let me go get this money. <laughs> nine tides. Let me go do this. Because I'm about security. You got to think the earth signs. We about security. Making sure our foundation good. Making sure our environment look a certain way. Now, all my stuff kind of tie together. Okay. So you gotta you gotta look at this from a whole nother perspective. This is why when we say knowledge is self, <laughs> I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna get out because I got a uh, I got a, a session at four. Knowledge of self is key. You gotta navigate this journey totally different. You gotta not like navigate this 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 journey ready to win. And in order for you to navigate this journey, you gotta have the information. You gotta have this information. Knowledge of self is important. All right? Knowledge of self is important. So, and before y'all start working, y'all know what I like to say, before y'all jump up and start setting up these altars, start working with these Orishas and these deities, walking around, talking about what set you claiming, I'm a daughter of o o Ogun or Oshun or son of Shango, you better know yourself. You better really understand what the hell you got going on in all them multiple layers of who you are you got so many multiple layers of who you are and because you got all of these layers thank you thank y'all um you gotta like really you gotta get in you gotta get in on a whole like you gotta be serious about this shit. my my students know i'm big about be dedicated, be invested in who you are. Because when you dedicate yourself and invest in who you are, it's some stuff. And now we start to heal for real. We ain't playing about, oh, I'm healing myself. No, now we starting to heal generational trauma. Now we starting to heal generations before us because everything is healed in a, in a seven year cycle. So now when I'm healing myself, I'm able to heal seven generations back and seven generations forward. If I can break the cycles and the curse of what's going on with me today, I not only healed myself, I healed my ancestors and I broke that generational tie and I'm healing the children that come from generations to come. I'm, heal I'm healing my great grandbabies. All right, so start, work now. You might can't get all of them. That's okay, it's okay. Don't be stressing yourself out about that shit. 
get as much as you can because you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. You can't sit here talking about, oh, I'm doing this work and y'all faking. Oh, I'm doing this work and you ain't meditating. You ain't even, I'm going to get on this. Okay, this is my last thing and I'm going to get out for real. Stop walking around saying that you got this power and don't believe it. Stop walking around saying that you God, but you ain't even mastered your heart. Stop walking around saying that you God and you ain't mastered none of these. None of these energy wheels that's spinning. That y'all still walking around calling by the English name. That you still walking around calling by them Eastern countries names. That you ain't even using your own language. You ain't even using your own language to create the vibration that need to be created in the first damn place. Come on. So, we got to wake up. This ain't no no basics. And y'all know I don't get into, you know, I, I, I make jokes about my clear folks, but... I don't get into, you know, the different many layers of the political game. But I'm telling you, because I did come this lifetime as a melanated, super melanated being. I'm going to need y'all to get y'all shit together. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to get y'all shit together. Because <laughs> I need for us to understand that we are the original. Everything else is a carbon copy after us. So it's missing stuff. We embody and encompass everything that we need and more. So if you tap into it, there's no reason that you should be searching for validation from nobody. There's no reason that you should be feeling like, oh, we need, we, we humans too. No, the fuck you ain't. Let's be clear. You not. There's no need for you to be feeling like you got to get on anybody's, anybody's list. You ain't got to do that. Because you walk different. You talk different. Your energy different. Your vibration different. So we got to stop getting into this dynamic that we've been getting into we want to be on everybody else's boat we want to be included and all no no once you arrive and who you are you understand that it ain't even about none of that it ain't about none of that once you arrive it ain't about none of that i ain't got to be sitting here i don't watch the tv i don't get on here on social media unless I'm coming to, to, to share some light with y'all. If I'm coming to share some knowledge and check my messages, that's the only reason I'm on here. So like, nine times out of ten, I miss whatever's going on in the world. Why? Because it ain't got nothing to do with me. Me and my mate just had that conversation. It ain't my plight. That ain't my plight. I'm sorry. It's not my plight. I understand who I am. I know what I came here to do. I got to focus on what my plight is. My plight is to elevate consciousness. So I ain't got time to be focused on what little Ray Ray just did. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I ain't got time to get on that boat with y'all. I don't. I don't. I only got time to study, sharpen my skills. Elevate my consciousness. Make sure that I'm consistently healing and clearing energy for myself. Making sure that these umpteen kids that stay in my house <laughs> got the right information and foundation for them. Because they charts is a fool. I'm sitting there like, how you in here with your mama being a whole live goddess? And you still going to get out here and do some craziness. Lord bless your whole soul. That's your journey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to be worried about they they out here trying to give me COVID. I ain't got time. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. What I am worried about is 
how much information can I pour into you? How much can I receive in the downloads that I get and the connections and the alignments that I make that I can pour into you and try to get it to you as I, I, I want to say free 99 as possible because y'all know that's my mission that's my mission to figure out how I can pour life into y'all and still make sure my babies eat because due power don't they don't take knowledge for payment <laughs> due power don't they don't take uh, knowledge and information for payment so I got to make sure that I figure that out. All right. I got to make sure I figure that out. But that's my mission. That's what they put me here for. I came back this cycle. I know, like I said, my human design is a projector. Any of my babies who are projectors, we came back to teach. We came back to guide. We came back to be a certain type of energy. We came back to make sure that if I can see something and I'm able to formulate it and there's somebody listening, that I pour that information into you so you can come and show up in the job that you're supposed to do. Because we all authentically have a certain job. We authentically are put here for a reason. So we are here, each one of us, to fulfill whatever our destination and our purpose is. Yes, I'm in North Carolina, boo. Rosemary and him. Your page sound interesting. Okay. Listen, me lucky. Anybody who know me, they know. I don't worry. I sponsor so many girls in most of my courses and, and stuff. Like, I don't be worried. I got elders and other so-called teachers that be mad because I don't charge enough. For what? I'm charging enough to pay for this website and my bare necessities. I manifested a whole man that can take care of whatever I need. He takes care of my well-being to make sure that I can come on here and do what I need to do without stressing. All right? So, and so I can fulfill my purpose. He makes sure that I'm walking in my, my shit. If ain't nobody else gonna walk in their shit, he gonna make sure I walk in my shit. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you. I will that if you do not know what human design chart is, if you don't know what a human design chart is, please go look it up. You can go to, um, I think it's jovianarchive.com or um, my body graph. If somebody could put that in there, my body graph. If you could put mybodygraph.com, you can go in there um, and just pull a, a basic chart. Don't pay for nothing. Just pull a basic chart. All right. Once you pull that basic chart, it's going to tell you whether or not you're a projector, you're a generator, a manifesting generator. All right. The crazy part is I'm a projector. Ask me. I got three projectors in my house. We only 22% of the world. We only 22% of the world, of the population, and I got three of the mugs in my house. How that work? That's four of us all together. That's crazy. That shit crazy. So uh, apparently it was meant for them to come and be in my house under my guidance. <laughs> all right. But pull your chart. It's free. The information they're going to give you is basic. That's why I want to make sure that y'all take this workshop. I don't even know. I'm going to try to make the first one virtual. And then I'm going to do another one for the actual area that I live in. So they can come to the house so we can get in, get in. So if you are interested, make sure you inbox me. All right. Make sure you inbox me. Um, if you are interested. Because I am going to send out an email. This first one is probably going to be invite only because I want to make sure that y'all have this information before you even get in the class. It might even have to be where you're going to get interviewed. I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, mybodygraph.com. If you look up, I think somebody put it in there. There's mybodygraph.com. Um, yeah, there she go. 157, just put it in. Okay. 
get that info it's going to give you that second birthday so it's going to tell you and you probably don't even recognize what it is but it's going to give you two birthdays it's going to give you your actual birthday and it's going to give you another birthday in that in that um setup and most people don't even pay attention to that second birthday that second birthday is when your body design showed up okay so your body came three months before your actual consciousness your consciousness was being birthed into the world your body was something totally different it was already ready it already had them pick which one so i need for y'all to get this information okay i need for y'all to get this information Yes, Gemini, it's going to be a new class. I'm only hosting this. I'm going to only be there like to be like, hey, y'all, this is my girl. Boom, 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 boom. Let her get into because that's a lot of information. I'm not sitting through that information. I, I had to sit through it too many times. So I'm going to let y'all sit through that information. Um, and then we're going to probably break it down in sections because it's a lot. And I don't want y'all to get overwhelmed. I don't want none of my babies to be overwhelmed by this information. All right. But I need for y'all to pull these charts. Go ahead and have them out. So it's going to look like gibberish. It's going to look like gibberish when you pull it. You're going to be looking at it like what? Like how y'all was looking at them natal charts for the ones that started pulling natal charts. You're going to be looking at it like what the hell is this? But when you pull it, I need you to already start kind of just Googling. I tell my babies all the time, okay? Now you got the information. This is what you're going to do. You're going to break it down in little sections. I know that I'm a projector. So now let me go Google. Projector. Human design. Okay. Projector. Human design. What does this look like? All right. What is, what is it, What does that mean? What is the information that come with it? Like... When we get ready to do these classes, whew, it's going to be so deep. Y'all don't, I'm on a high. Like, I'm still buzzing, and I done met with this sister twice. We barely scratched the surface. That's what's sad. I've met with her twice. We've sat there and talked for, like, at least three, four hours each time. We only scratching the surface. I already done started making my own connections and my own dynamics. Like, y'all know my mind go on something else. I'm I'm able to see other shit, and I'm pulling other shit from this. So, listen, listen. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be so crazy. I don't want y'all to miss this. I was so hyped. I really wanted to go on live at 1 o'clock in the morning last night because I had just finished going down the rabbit hole, figuring out different stuff that she put me on. I literally was about to go live at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I had to be like, calm down. <laughs> but I don't want my people to miss this. I don't want y'all to miss this. I need for y'all to get this information and use it. Because it's getting ready to put y'all on a whole nother level of game. Like, for real. Your whole life going to be different. If you do the work, y'all know what I say. If you do the work. If you do the work and be consistent and, and, and dedicated to this work, it's crazy. It's going to be crazy. All right. All right. Let me go because I got to go do this session. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Um, I will that y'all have an amazing day. We got this day gone. I'm going to get into the moon, the full moon energy info. Uh, later, y'all gotta look at the full moon enter. Listen to these dates. The full moon is entering September 2nd. All right, in Atlantic time, that's 2:22. So it's for full moon somewhere at 2:22. You hear me? September 2nd, 2:22. In the year 2020. If the universe ain't working for y'all. I don't know who it is. If the universe is not aligning shit for y'all. I don't know who it is. 
I'm just saying. Go do the math on the number two. You got twos, you getting fours out of that. You getting a whole lot of uh, numerology in, in that particular setup. I'm just saying. All right. Peace, y'all. <laughs>